Hi. So today I'm going to be doing the Lego Star Wars characters that I have. This is obviously not all of them. There are probably a hundred more. Um, but these are the ones that I have from favorite to least favorite. I think I could get more soon, but for now, this is all I have. About 20 characters, so pretty good amount. And let's get right into it. So, first up on the number one spot on my list, I have the Sith Trooper from Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. Um, I, so, I got this set. Um, I forget what it's called, but it is... But, um, it comes with four characters. It comes with two Sith jump troopers and a Sith officer. Um, what I wish came with this set, instead of two jump troopers, I wish it came with two Sith troopers. I think that would have made the set much, um, better, look, uh, much better looking. Because I think the Sith troopers got a little bit more attention in the movie than the jump troopers. I mean, I think the jump troopers got like one tiny shot, and that's on the Star Destroyer in the final battle. Um, but yeah, so that set um, was pretty good. So next up, we have these three um, 501st clone troopers. They they all do count as they're all gonna count as one in this video. So um. I'm just going to grab this guy because he has his weapon. But yeah, he's a 501st clone trooper from the 501st Super Battle Pack. The first one that LEGO has ever released, I am pretty sure. But yeah, I think that set was really cool. Speeder, ATRT. I think those were the two best looking of their kind so far. So, moving right along into everyone's little favorite astromech. R2-D2. He came from the Obi-Wan's Hut set. Um, he, came, he also came with three other characters. He came with Luke. He came with a Tusken Raider. And he also came with um, Ben Kenobi. So I think um, the set was pretty good. I think the set came out really good. I think it came out like something that you would totally see on Tatooine. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, moving on to the next one. The Tusken Raider. This one also came with the Obi-Wan's Hut set. Um, it has a specially molded mask for itself. Or not really mask, but headpiece. And it also has a... I forget what it's called. I'm going to say Bakta Staff. I forget what it's called. If you do know, leave it in the comments below. Um, but, yeah. So, I think he also came with the Obi-Wan's Hut. I already said that. Um, I think he, they Lego did a really good job with getting him. I wish they put a little bit more spikes on him. Mm, not really that much of a complaint. Um, but, yeah. So next up on my list, I have the 504, I have the 501st regular clone trooper, 501st, actually, these are all 501st legions, these are, this is just a 501st regular, he has a jetpack on the back, and he has little red markings on his face, I guess just to mark that he is a clone trooper, not a legion, 501st legion trooper, um, but, yeah. So, next up on my list, we have the clone's enemy. No, it's not Count Dooku. No, it's not General Grievous. It is the normal B-1 battle droid. So, I think this guy, he definitely really looks like a battle droid. Okay, and, like, I just opened the box and I was like, oh, there's the battle droid head. So, uh, yeah, I think Lego did a fantastic, fantastic job with making this guy. Comes with the little blaster. He was really good. I do wish the feet were able to be moved, but it's a little hard when you're trying to do, like, a robot-looking droid form thing. So I could see why they didn't do that. Both of my little droids fell. 
I'll just leave them there. Um, so next up we have the two jump troopers. They both count as they're all gonna both count as one, but they have a backpack on them too. It's a little hard to see with all of the red. But yeah, you can see the face is very different from the um, Sith Trooper. But the only thing I like, I think, is that they do have the same headpiece, actually, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I think that was I think that was a little weird, but also cool at the same time. So next up, all the way, all the way to the far. Right, we have the four Mandalorian from the Mandalorian show. I haven't seen the whole show, so I have no clue who these guys are. Um, but yeah, the Mandalorians, they are pretty cool. And once again, they are all going to count as one. So I'm just going to bring out this guy. Uh, he, his body kind of looks like the Mandalorian, his... Helmet does not, and he has that little stud shooter that Lego released. I really like I really like the stud shooter. I think it makes it the realisticality of an actual laser blaster that you see in the movies. Um, but yeah. So next up, we have the first final order officer or the Sith officer. I think he does also have the same headpiece as. The Sith Trooper and the Jump Trooper, just with a different um, facial expression. So he just kind of has that, like, kind of worry, kind of worried, half frustrated, angry kind of expression. While the Sith Troopers and the Jump Troopers, they got that straight up mean look. Like someone you don't want to mess with. Um, but, yeah, so that's... Um, it for like this whole side basically up to Luke basically and perfect timing that is next up on our list we have Luke he's holding some binoculars I just kind of put that on his lightsaber is turned on it's not actually what it's not turned on um he's wearing his regular Tatooinean robes he's got the long mop of a hair that you see in A New Hope. Um, but yeah, so that's Luke. He also came in the Obi-Wan Touch set. Then we have Anakin from the Duel on Mustafar set. Um, at this time, he has been turned to a Sith by Palpatine. Um, I think this was, uh, I think this one was pretty good. This set that it came with was pretty good. I kind of wish they didn't use, like, the uh, Lego didn't use the same face as they did for Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Um, but other than that, I think it was kind of good. I mean, the headpiece was the only thing different from the Jedi Starfighter and the Duel on Mustafar characters. But then, next up, we have old... Obi-Wan Kenobi, or also known as Ben Kenobi. He is the final character that I'm going to talk about for the Obi-Wan's Hut set. He is the last character that um, I'm going to say from basically half of this side. So, and that's it for half of this side, so it's not like I'm skipping out on anybody. <laughs> but he's got the ray hair. Um, I think I heard somewhere that he now has, uh, now, uh, him, he has the same hair that Uncle Ben has, also from A New Hope. Um, but yeah, I think that was kind of cool. And then, next up, we have the, Anakin fell, we have the young Obi-Wan from Revenge of the Sith. I changed his hair. Because I'm trying to make a Cal Kestis character from Jedi Fallen Order. And I needed his hair. So I changed it to like a long kind of girly hairpiece almost. Um, But yeah, it still definitely looks like Obi-Wan. He's got the lightsaber. This one was also from the Dulan Mustafar set. 
Um, so, yeah. Actually, I think that's it for the video. I thought I had much more characters than that, but like I said, only 20. And I skipped a few because, like I said, they all count for some of them that are basically the same. Count for each other. So, that is the end of my video. Um, if you, if you liked it, um, drop a like down in the comments. And, um, hit that subscribe button. So, bye.